So Drake freaked out last night, actually early this morning. Uh, uh, with very good reason. With very with good very reason. Very good reason. When, you, uh, when your crew loses about $3 million uh, because of a theft on your tour bus. While you're working, it you're will busy on stage working. It will piss you off, <laughs> and it pissed him off. So we're gonna show you the video, and then we're gonna explain the heist. <laughs> This is backstage underneath the arena in Phoenix where he had just performed. He is mad. He is mad. Screaming at that poor guy. That guy, I don't know if that guy has a job today, but uh, he's well, definitely got the brunt. Near of... that red truck, there is a tour bus that he shared with Future, the rapper. They were both performing uh, in Phoenix. Uh, and aboard the tour bus was a briefcase. And the briefcase belonged to Drake's DJ on the tour. That's what cops are saying. And yep. uh, apparently, at least that's what the victim, the DJ is saying, there was two to three million dollars in the briefcase. When they got back in the bus after the concert, guess what was missing? The briefcase. The briefcase and the three million dollars in jewelry. So the DJ, his name is Future the Prince, which is confusing because Drake is on tour with Future. Future but Drake's DJ is named Future The Prince, uh, and he is out a ton of money this morning. Now the question uh, According to police, who, now what police were told is that it belonged to Drake, uh, sorry, to Future The Prince. Here's the question, here is the question. You know exactly, yes. Well, I mean, there are a bunch of questions. First of all, how does somebody get on a tour bus Take a briefcase, walk off with a briefcase. I understand when there how are maybe they get all on. around there. Somebody wasn't where they were supposed there to be. There are Somebody so many people doing, around there. But that's the whole point. That's what helps you is if there's a lot of people just milling around and you fit in, you don't like go running through the place and you walk like you belong there, then you can do that. But somebody should have been, I have to imagine, someone should have been standing guard at the bus. And that's whoever that person is, is who Drake should really be pissed at. I guess what I'm getting at is, if it's some stranger that walks on the bus, it's gonna be way more noticeable than if it's somebody who belongs yeah. in the area. I, I, I doubt it was a stranger. I mean, listen, it's backstage at a rap show. There are people milling around all the time. Obviously, Drake feels like someone dropped the ball here, which is why he's so piping mad. He's so, it's, 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 it's always interesting. Just look at Drake oh, go he did, crazy. He did the clap, I, I and love then it. he did the, the hands. Clap and the hands. I'm like, done, nah, shut fam, it down. I'm out of here, man, 300. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> but like, I, I like that. Feel but, the jet. Yeah, Somebody call, feel yeah, the jet. It's over, I'm man. I'm, I'm getting out of here. Where Rihanna, you know? <laughs> but like, somebody drops the ball to let them on the bus, but it's not like it's a restricted area where there are not people well, back I, there. My, my question is, is an inside job. I, I mean, to be honest with you, that might be the reason why he's so upset. Somebody would have to know exactly how much jewelry is on there and kind of where to go to go get it. You wonder how much time they had on the bus to like dig That's around right. and That's look right. and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly, exactly. And there's surveillance video and we know the cops are looking at the surveillance video. Yeah, and there's they... surveillance video all over the place too. So, I mean, they're gonna find the guy who did it. Well, unless the guy who did it somehow got rid of the briefcase before he walked off the bus and people are walking on and off the bus and he just put it in his pocket and walked out. Just put the because jewelry in his pocket right. and left the briefcase? Because you don't want to walk out with a briefcase. You open up the briefcase, you take the jewelry, you put mm -hmm. it in your pocket and you walk off. Right. And then nobody sees the, the briefcase. Huh. So, I, I mean, what are you getting at? Because you, I, I think you don't I think, it's, think, I don't think you think it's I, the DJ's jewelry. I don't, I, I'm just saying, look, I, I'm sure Future the Prince is a very successful guy. He's working with Drake. He's on tour with Drake. He's clearly successful. You don't think I he has $3 million dollars worth does of Does he have $3 million worth oh, of jewelry laying around? Oh, you think that he's taken the fall for Drake, or you don't think I, I don't it was $3 million I don't know whose bucks. it is, but I, I question whether or not it really belongs Well, Drake to is Future certainly mad about his DJ losing jewelry. Yes, <laughs> he's very, very That's upset about it. That's interesting. But I'm sure he's tight with his DJ, so I, I don't know. Hey, what's up? It's Joey B. I'm calling from New York City. Well, you know, it's, it's very unfortunate that Drake lost his hotline bling. But, <laughs> you know, who leaves $3 million worth of jewelry on a bus? Like, I know. is the bus even worth a million dollars? Yeah, exactly. Like, no, it's worth it, more than the know? bus, bro. You're right. It's yes, probably absolutely. worth more than the bus. It's crazy, and you leave it. It's an unlocked thing where people have access. It, it is crazy. It is crazy, but I have a feeling it's done a lot. Yes. I think it's done a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs>